YouTube, what's poppin', man? It's your boy 41 Pop, and we back with another video. We got a video with Jack Doherty. This dude's an idiot, bro. The dumbest I ever met. Yeah, I ever, ever met him, ever seen. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you like and subscribe for this video. We're going to see how Jack kind of might ruin his life. Well, this lawsuit's about to destroy the streamer's life the way he knows it, as it's likely going to become the most expensive thing he's ever gone through. So meet Jack Doherty, once a cringe YouTube kid who literally stalked creators to their own homes for content. I want them to come out so freaking badly. Now, I guess he just harasses random people in public for his own content. And whenever these randoms stand up for themselves, he hides behind his own security guard. <laughs> that was crazy. I didn't know he started like that. What? what? Well, probably I do. What do you do? behind his own security guard. <laughs> I will never not see Jack as Randall from Recess here, as the stance and attitude is just identical. <laughs> but one of his security guards, in combination with his own that's actions, a, have now landed. That's a crazy him. analogy, though. <laughs> That was not funny. In one of the worst situations possible to be in as a creator, being sued. And not only by the victim, but also his own insurance company is suing him for this lawsuit as well. So this whole situation, it That's dates crazy. back to the Halloween party in 2023. You fuck around and you find out. You fuck around and you find out, man. That's how it goes. And while most people have seen the viral clip of Jack's bodyguard just sucker punching this random guy, not too many people saw the context of the clip from Jack's stream. Because if you just simply jump back about two minutes before the sucker punch, you see Jack and one of the guys arguing about a comment Jack made about Karina Koff, who I believe was hosting the party. It's still a little bit unclear because I'm seeing some sources claiming that she was hosting the party and other sources saying that it was David Dobrik's party. Either way, it seems like it was a vlog squad Halloween party. And the victim and his friend were arguing with Jack about something he said on his live stream about Karina. Hey, but you know, hey, you, right you, know you know Karina's, you know Karina lit. She so, is lit. Yeah, yeah so don't talk, you can't talk. I was not talking okay. it's more of a joke, but like, Wait, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 I call yeah, everyone an only so seriously, we're live streaming. Like, yeah, I'm just saying. It's all good. Like, I, yeah, I understand. I know. But you can't, you can't talk that shit. Well, she's making rats. She making uh, rats. Obviously. Yeah, <laughs> rats. Okay? Rats. So, so don't be throwing that shit. Man, listen, bro. What, what are we doing, bro? We say, yeah, what are we doing? I, no, I'm just. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? You made somebody hey, upset. What are you doing? Hey, 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 why are you here? Hold on, hold on. What are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? Hey, what are we doing? Hey, yo. Us two. Realistically, them two niggas is some fucking simps. Why the fuck? The fuck go on with your business? You're at a party, nigga. What the fuck do you care what this nigga, this little nigga says? This little nigga is a torp anyway. Like it don't make no sense. Y'all look like them. Y'all look crazy as hell anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey yo, motherfuckers is dumb as hell, bro. What are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? Hey, what are we doing? Hey, we doing? hey yo, we doing you play? Play? us two versus hey, two. All right, go. I'm running. Okay, so that gives us a little bit more context to have. I don't, I don't think Jack, Jack. I don't like the little nigga. Really, for real, he do dumb ass shit. But I don't think he in the wrong right there. Them niggas simping hard, talk about she make racks. She make racks. Who gives a fuck? Get off her dick. And his friends started talking to Jack because he was being disrespectful for her, and that he should be more respectful to her because she is making racks. That doesn't have to make sense because what Jack and his bodyguard did either way is extremely wrong because at this point they're just kind of yapping at each other who cares the situation isn't really a big oh, deal all jack had to do it. was walk away but that's not what profits jack jack wants to have as big of a commotion as possible to monetize it via his live stream because he just is one big attention funnel which then leads into his of businesses and that becomes very obvious after all this happened but then jack's bodyguard shows up and says what's up and jack says we're fighting them you two versus us and then he runs and the lawsuit they're using that against jack and that makes sense because just a few minutes later the sucker punch happened which just seemed to come out of nowhere no i'm saying okay you said what you said you keep repeating so now saying. what's the next now do you want to suck my butt like where are we getting hey, that's fighting words that's fighting words hey me hey me Call me broke. No, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. Appreciate you. Don't Thank care. You. I love how Jack always takes the lower road in almost every single altercation I see him in. 
It's like he's actively making the decision to come off as bad as possible. That in itself oh, almost seems like a talent because you really have oh. to try hard to come across as bad as what Jack Doherty does. Not really, because I know assholes like this. I grew up with a couple of them. For real, for real. Like, natural assholes like this. All right, ready? All right, on the count of three, three. On the count of three, we walk this way, you guys walk this way. It's cool, Shay. It's cool, man. It's cool. One. And I'm told I'm an asshole. This is an asshole right here. Hey, Shay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You never started hey, walking. Save with my big Y reward. It's cool, man. It's cool. cool. One. Hey, Shay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You never started walking. Hey, Shay. It's cool. It's cool. The fact. <laughs> this dude looks like he got a boner the whole damn time from this fight. No bullshit. Is this Karita? I think that's Karita Cop F right there. But this thing, it looked like he got a boner though. Damn fight. What the f? Had a freaky diddy party going on here. I mean, it's just a bunch of drunk people arguing, but nothing that deserves a punch. And I'm showing you guys all of this to give everyone a picture of how random the sucker punch really was. I'm staying right here. Now I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, talking to me. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you just saying, you're walking up. Yeah, stopped it there for obvious. Stop, just stop, just stop. I'm just saying, y'all say, no, you just stop. Tone, stop, tone, stop, trust. Yeah, stopped it there for obvious reasons. As you can see, no, just stop. Tone, stop, tone, stop, trust. I ain't gonna lie, look like that nigga backhand the fuck out. <laughs> Yo, that big ass. <laughs> It don't look like he did much, bro, but he probably caused the whole Thanos smash. Nigga, that nigga got the Thanos arm. Nigga, what the fuck? Chill, chill. No, no, no. no. Just back up. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. I'm just saying y'all say Yo, you just you stop. Tone, stop. Tone, stop. Tone, stop. Trust me. Yeah. Stopped it there for obvious reasons. As you can see, that was not self-defense. That was a sucker punch. Then to make things worse, he's not even defending his client. As you can see, his client is standing safely right over there. The punch is here. Jack's over here. He's not defending his client here. And that's oh, what the okay, side okay. of the victim who was sucker punched is using in court as Jack is being sued by them for assault, battery, negligence, and emotional distress. And what's also really not helping Jack is he hired this bodyguard, Kane, when the exact same thing happened just four years prior to this event. So Jack hired Kane when Kane has a past of literally punching people when he doesn't need to do so. And of course, to make things even worse for Jack, Jack used this moment to promote his stream, not to apologize or show any sort of sympathy. It was like, great, this happened. I'm now gonna promote it everywhere, but not before he ran off. So right after this happens, they run off. And then he goes on this like promotional tour of, look what just happened on my stream, guys. It's so disgusting. But Jack is either delusional or desperate, maybe both, as it now came out that he was trying to use his renters in- Attention whore. Obviously, this fucking attention whore. Why the fuck? Insurance to pay for this lawsuit. This was not at his house. He was out of state. He was in California for a Halloween party. And he's somehow trying to use his renter's insurance to pay for this lawsuit? What? What? <laughs> YouTuber Jack Doherty sued for not paying for Halloween KO. Wrong insurance, bud. In a new legal docs obtained by TMZ, State Farm says Jack is trying to use his renter's insurance policy to force the company to defend him in the litigation and possibly cough up any damages that might be owed. State Farm says that Jack is actually not covered here because not only does the policy not cover willful acts that cause bodily harm, he also posted a video of the fight on his social media pages and is using the footage as part of his business, which is also not covered under policy. Policy. <laughs> what an idiot for like every single action here. He's an idiot for trying to use his renter's insurance policy to cover this. And he's an idiot for using this to try to promote his business. As a result, State Farm is asking the judge to declare that they're not on the hook to defend him or pay out any money in the assault and battery suit. I'm just, I'm trying to make sense of this though, because so he's trying to use his renter's insurance policy here. But from everything I've seen, he was not hosting this party. This was not on his property. From what I know. 
know. So is this just one massive reach by him or does everyone have the story wrong and he was actually the host of this party? Something's definitely not adding up here, but I could also just be giving him way too much of a benefit of a doubt because he just might not be thinking that rationally. Either way, it just doesn't make sense. But to be fair, a lot of his other antics just do not make sense whatsoever. So at least he's consistent. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens from all this because right after it happened, he was talking such a big game saying, oh, this is nothing. This isn't even going to affect him. Meanwhile, he's now trying to use his renter's insurance policy to cover this. That doesn't sound like a move from someone who's saying, oh, everything's fine. That sounds like someone who's scrambling for a Hail Mary. I will definitely right. be covering the update to the story. So if you're new here, feel free to subscribe, drop a like on this video, and I'll see you. Like and subscribe, man. Jack, you was an idiot, boy.